Hold your breath. Make a wish. Make a wish. Count to three. And welcome back to the 80 and 8. Today, we're on day two of round two of the 80 and 8. And we're in the 19th of Rondi's model. It looks like it's raining right now. Uh, which the odds of rain were down around 9% today. It looks like I beat those odds <laughs> in, in the wrong way. I was filming in a very zoomed in mode there. Anywho, now that I'm in a better shooting mode here, we are in the uh, 19th of Rondi's model in Villette. I can't tell you if it's my favorite quarter in the uh, 19th or not because it doesn't have Boot Chaumont in it, but it does have some of the most fun parts of the Upper Canal. And that's, that's a winner. There's some good stuff that we're gonna be getting into today and some things that are in my guide, which if you don't have my guide to Paris yet and you're planning a trip to Paris, I highly recommend it. Masks are no longer necessary outside of public transportation, so we'll be taking those off today. It is a little bit sprinkly down here. Spitting rain, as they say, but uh, you know, What's a little rain for a little exploring? Just as to the adventure. Speaking of adventure, we need to find my buddy Samwise, because no proper adventure happens without a Samwise involved. We're gonna be spending most of our time walking around Basin de la Villette, which is the basin of the Villette, named after the quarter, how handily, uh, which is a part of Canal Saint-Martin, the canal that runs all the way up through Paris from the Seine. It's where most of the good stuff is gonna be today, but today's boundaries, in case you're curious, to the southeast, we have Rue de Meaux with just a touch of Avenue Jean Jaurès. To the southwest, we have Boulevard de la Villette. To the northwest, we have Rue d'Aubervilliers. And to the northeast, we have Rue de l'Orque. And Rue de l'Orque is what leads us to uh, Quai de l'Orque. But I don't think that's in bounds today, so we'll probably be dodging that one. Or at least part of it's out of bounds. We'll find out as we go. Of course, if you want to get here to where we're starting today, you can get out at, on line two at Stalingrad or Jaurès. Jaurès also has line five, not that hard to get to, and it'll take you straight to the base of Bastion de la Villette, where you can walk over to the rotunda here and find yourself a Samwise, prepped and ready to walk. What? Jeff's got lovely weather. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, look, this, I, I wanted to respect your nationality. <laughs> and make sure that this, this, just, this should feel like home. It would be having a barbecue. And wearing shorts. I've never actually eaten at this place. Yeah, is it touristy? Is it not touristy? Nothing about this area is touristy. Not really. Yeah, this is way too far away for most tourists. But worth it. We're gonna go to a spot for a probably mediocre coffee, but with a great environment in not too long. But have you ever been up here? Yes, but not, I'm not that far from this spot. No, it's, it's, it's easy for you, yeah. Well, here's the thing, should we, how do we do this? I do want to get the, um, the boundary streets. And I do want to walk up the canal. So maybe we start by going like over, kind of get them both at the base, then walk up the canal and check out what's at the top. Hopefully there's some new space invaders today too. My old French click used to have an apartment over here where two of the guys lived. So we, uh, I've spent a lot of time here. The uh, western boundary, especially, but in this area around Stalingrad is, uh, is fairly well known for its petty crime. So watch your stuff when you're here. And bike theft, actually, too. So I hope you lost it. Yeah, I hope yeah. You, yeah. I, there's actually, uh, I think it was France 24, one of the news agencies did like an undercover bike theft piece up here. It's pretty interesting to watch. If I can find it, I'll link to it below. But uh, yeah, just watch your stuff. Otherwise, my, my suggestion would be if you're not comfortable, if you're not the most comfortable, would be to hang out around the canal. There's a lot of fun stuff that we're gonna show you. Movie theaters, some boats, great spot for picnics. Over near Aubervilliers, where we're headed right now, maybe a little bit less interesting to you. I feel like we've walked enough of the, the boundary here. 
to get a feel for it. My only real motivation for walking around this, this section of the boundary is for Space Invaders, honestly, but we'll go back in towards the canal and show you some things there. There's a, a movie theater that you can go between its two branches by a little ferry, which is fun. There's also a little boat rental station, which I don't know if is open today or not, but you can rent boats here to putter around, to putt around. Not punt though, no punting. And then, yeah, it's just some great stuff. Putt putter and no punting. <laughs> yeah, putt putter and no punting. For those of you wondering if you ever spot one of these, what is this piece of triangular art? It's not art, don't touch it. It's a urinal, also horses. I'm getting some weird looks from people right now. Magic. Thank goodness hand sanitizer is everywhere post COVID. So we come back, as you can see, to the, the basin, and one of the really fun spots to grab a beer is right up here. Can't necessarily guarantee the quality, and I don't remember what the prices are, but it's a really fun outdoor spot where you can have the fountains and you can look all the way up the canal, but there is a spot that I can guarantee the quality of the beer and improve your experience significantly way up there, which is where I'm gonna really want to have lunch, but we probably won't because we're gonna try and find something new, but we might because I really want to. It's a brewery called Pan Am, and we're gonna talk about that in a bit, but. Let's go check this out and see if they've got the prices listed. Oh, puppy swimming. Who's our good boy? All right, so the, the beer prices aren't terrible. For how big? For a, oh, for a pint? That's not bad at all. Oh, they even have Lagunitas for 650. And Gallia, those are both, so these are both good beers. Obviously Lagunitas is Californian. Gallia is French and very good. And those prices for, for a pint? In Paris? That's pretty good. That's, yeah. It's good. Which also, let that serve as a warning to those of you that aren't aware of what the prices in Paris are. <laughs> that we're like, oh, six euros fifty? That's like, you know, eight or nine dollars. That's great. He's having a grand old time. I love the locks. We're also gonna, it looks like they've also got everything portioned out for swimming again. Yeah, they've got, they've, there's portions of the canal that you can swim on now. What's that? So it's, it's, some canals like stagnant water. Oh yeah, this, this theoretically is moving at least enough to be clean and they've cleaned it out. So you can see where the boats, where you can rent those little boats. They, and this is where they'll do a section of Paris Plage. They'll do, they'll set everything up to look and feel like a beach. Maybe they won't do it because of COVID this year, but usually it's a really fun area to come. There's people sunbathing, playing petanque. It's phenomenal. Uh, and usually sunbathing on a day where you can see the sun. That's a good, that's a good start. So if you're gonna do the boat tour along the locks down the canal, Kenorama is the company that does that, and this is where you find them, right in front of the movie theater. The movie theater itself splits between this side and that side over there, so there's actually half the films on one, half on the other. And before you think like, ah crap, it means I gotta walk all the way around, there's a little ferry that'll carry you there just over here. Half of the films, or you watch it in <laughs> Yeah, you gotta get yeah, halfway through, you're like, go, go, go! <laughs> I missed the boat! <laughs> the boat's not here though. So this is where you would, your cinema ferry is usually right here. Normally the ferry that takes you between the movie theaters is right here, but it's not operating. Obviously theaters only just reopened, so this is probably the last thing they're worried about putting together. But it can be a fun way to cross the canal either way, if you just hop on and go. There's bridges up here. We're, we'll see a couple of those bridges and the locks, but if you bounce around between them, this is a good way to do it. MK2 is, or MK2 is one of the major movie theater chains in town. There are four of them. So if you feel like getting out of the heat, enjoying a little bit of air conditioning on a day that's hotter than today. Theaters are one of the places you can do that. It's a great way to, you know, spend a little time in the dark. Here are the yellow things that we saw from afar. So this, it looks like you're not supposed to swim in the canal here, although that is canal water in the swimming area that over there. But I guess these are bumpers to keep boats from accidentally running into the swimming pool. Because especially all those little boats, I'm sure they, <laughs> they would probably run into the side all the time. Drunken electric boat riders. Definitely does not look open yet, but this is where you could go swim in the canal if you wanted. And uh, yeah, I don't know what to expect for Paris Plage this year. It'll be interesting to see what all comes together. They did, we did have like a light 
Fête de la Musique this week. So the summer solstice every year, there's just the whole city turns into a giant music festival. It was a very light version of that uh, this year, but hopefully that's back by next year. It's like my favorite night of the year. So the Antipode is a restaurant that you can eat at. I actually had Thanksgiving there once. It wasn't, it was more like a meal on Thanksgiving than Thanksgiving, but I definitely ate there on Thanksgiving. And uh, beyond that, there's a bookstore in one of these boats as well, if you want to come up here. I love this area, it's so great. Just to give you a sense and some hope, Sam, that, oh, that right there is where we're headed for coffee. Also, I wasn't sure there was going to be a church I hadn't been to here or not, but I've never been to this guy before. And of all the bridges, so there's one bridge that swings open down the canal, but this one actually lifts up, which I don't think we're going to get to see today. But it's really cool when you see this portion of the bridge go up. I'll see if I can find it. I have footage of it somewhere, but really neat I just love the look of this section of the canal and if that happens if the bridge is going up right here then you just go over this part right there that part's always there why would they lift the bridge up for big boats but then that bridge there wait which bridge lifts the one that the bike's going over right now Oh, the low one okay. the low one's what lifts yeah but there are still some pretty sizable boats not even the tour boats I think there's some like commercial boats that go up the canal still so they're probably on my schedule they gotta clear it Okay, I think our boundary is one, is just that, is it that bridge or one bridge past it? Cafe. Oh man, yeah. I got up, I had, I had breakfast before I came out. I don't know why I'm so hungry. So where we're stopping for coffee here is Pavillon des Canaux, which is an old lock house. So all the locks used to be operated by professional lock operators. I don't know what their title was. And uh, this is where they would live. They would live in one of these houses and then pop out to open the lock for whoever is coming through. And so they've got a bunch of these buildings all up and down the canal, some of which have been repurposed to things like this, some of which they're not using for anything as far as I know. The whole thing looks and feels very much like a house when you're inside. And if they aren't renovating, we'll show you in the bathroom. You can sit in the bathroom and not only in the bathroom, but in the bathtub. There's a table in the bathtub for two which Sam and I will definitely not be doing because I'm too dull. <laughs> so we got this little park here, but it's full of children, so I think we'll avoid it. And some wheat. Sam. <laughs> there you go. I was going to say, that, can I remind you that's probably covered in urine? <laughs> oh, you got it. It's stuck. Thank you for putting this urine wheat on my shirt. Ah, okay. I appreciate it. It makes it extra golden. There are a lot of urinals around. This might be the most pea-friendly district that I've visited so far. Okay, this is not looking good for our chances of going inside this church. It is literally roped off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're not going in there, but there is, have you noticed the, the name of this, of the square? You're going to like this. Square. No, the, the name of like, look for the street signs. Oh. 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 <laughs> is, that, is that literally what that means? That is it like? No, I'm pretty sure it's someone's name, but oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, but that's. That's a bitch in place. It's yeah. awkward. <laughs> He's taking down the ropes right now, so maybe we can get lucky. I doubt this is going to work, but I'm still going to ask. Excuse me, Mr. Is it possible to visit the church or not? For me, it's permitted. I don't know if they're going to open. I know they have a mess at 10 o'clock, but they're going to open at that moment. Okay. Okay, so he said that they have a mass at 12.15, so theoretically they are going to open back up in a little bit. So we'll swing back around to this place. We're going to go see the rest of our borders, cross over at the top. We're not far from it. And then we're probably going to end up back near here for lunch. Also, that was a really awkward angle. Let's go. The thing is, as Sam just, what, what did you say, Sam? There's not a lot around here. There's not a lot around here. Sorry, my camera. There's not a lot to do around here. It's true. Once you get off the canal, um, it's a very residential area. And I'm sure there's some nuggets, which is why we're going to be exploring. We're going to see if we find something. But um, there's a lot of schools. There's another daycare right here. Uh, the fun stuff is on the canal itself. So that's why we're going to circle back around to it. But... We gotta see what we find out and, out and about. 
Hurt in a boot. Hurt in a boot. Hurt in a boot. There's so many things named Miam. Independent market. It looks nice. Should we uh, just pop in? Fresh products of the season. Bonjour. I see it everywhere and I, I, I kind of picked up on what I, so it's like the, the equivalent of yum. So it's a yum yum and they say yum yum. So that's where that comes from. And I've seen it around a lot more. I feel like there's so many things named miam in one way or another, but that's what it is. Right. Onomatopoeias are always spelled so differently, but yeah, end up sounding the same. All right, we're gonna walk to the end of this of Rue Crime where it hits a five-way intersection, which is gonna be our boundary for uh, today. Let's move back around. Here we go. In the mind of a cat. It's the writer's skylight, or the writer's corner bookstore. It's like the top corner of skylight, so the writer's skylight bookstore. Just caught Sam's eye. It's like a wave, it was all by us on different. It is uh, it is all in French, so not necessarily uh, Sam friendly bookstore. But that's okay, Sam. Your French will get there. I can read. Good book. That, that's a good place to start. Okay, so if we cross the bridge here, just below, there's a film. Wait, for good God. Scooby Doo. <laughs> okay, so if you if you go down just down here, there's the bookstore Paniche, uh, which might be open. I've never been inside. Okay, let's let's do that instead. Instead of going over the bridge, I want to go check out the bookstore. Yeah, so they do, they focus on like ecological, agricultural, and like natural books. Oh, this is so cool. That was really cool. If you're a gardener and you speak French, I don't know how many English options there were in there, but if you'd like to get your uh, French vocab in gardening, it's a good place to do it. It's also a great spot for a drink. They, they have coffee and then they had a couple beers on tap for the evening. Definitely a good spot. Okay, I think we're gonna go up and around. Didn't see anything in particular that looked like lunch, did you? Yeah. Uh, no. I think, I mean, I'm angling back for Pan Am for the view as much as anything, so. Yeah, the go left. That's out of bounds. Right, just on the other. <laughs> We're so close. Pan Am is basically a guaranteed win. I love that place, but across the street is a spot I've never tried. Might give it a look, the canal here. I don't know what they serve though. Did they serve food? Bonjour. It is. I don't know that I really want German. Honestly, I haven't been to Pan Am in like seven or eight months, obviously, ever since they were last allowed to be open. 
so that's that's what I want to do. It's a German place. It looks nice. They've got had a currywurst and other stuff if you're into the German plates. They also have all this space across the street here, so you can sit outside and nice enjoy that. Steins, yeah. They had some nice steins. Strasbourg for a menu, they had you can get a pint of stein, which is, stein's a liter. Yeah, wow. And another one was called something else, which is a 2.5. Was it the boot? Uh, I don't know. Might have, have been the boot. The boot. Yeah, two and a half liters. That's a lot of beer. I got really drunk on Oktoberfest once where I was like, a friend was like, oh, do you want one more? I was like, yeah, I'll have one more. And then he brought out Stein's off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Looks open enough. There's people like eating. Normally this place is packed. It's hard to get a table here a lot of days. But the interior makes me think of home. Like it's got a very wood and metal style that you see in breweries all over the world now, of course. But it's one of those things like this. This is a good little spot, especially when I'm feeling like I need a taste of uh, a little bit of the Northwest. Come here for a little bit of a microbrew and, uh, and the food changes fairly every once in a while, but it's usually really good and it's hard to beat this view, especially when there's like a nice sunset out. And normally when it's not cloudy, you can actually see the Eiffel Tower off in the distance, just the top of it spinning around. So it's nice, good spot. So we're gonna have lunch and then we'll hop over and see if we can't get inside that church because I've never been in it at Place de Beach. And then we'll go from there. Yeah. Thanks for the walk. Oh, that is fucking good. Man. Yeah, that's good too. Mm. They had a, look like pork. I don't know what it was. It's like. I, it, was, it looked really good. I'm kind of wishing I'd have gotten the pork. They had on the menu um, pepperoni pizza, which I always like. It's really hard to find pepperoni here, really hard. So I'm always tempted to try it just to see if I can find real pepperoni. Real pepperoni. Yeah, because half the time it's like chorizo or something. As my grandpa would say, it'll make a turd. <laughs> Here's hoping that construction worker wasn't t taking us for a ride. Or just wrong. Nope. Out of luck. Sam was saying on Google Maps, it says it's closed from Monday to Thursday, so, uh, <sighs> missed it. Slayed. All right, well, I'll have to try this guy another time sometime. It's quite the action shot there. Thanks for joining me on today's uh, walk through the 19th. La Villette, 88. Give him a follow if you ever. Simon Nickel. Interested in getting a. Uh, well, I can't say what exactly, but there'll be some fun stuff coming soon enough. He's a furniture designer. He does cool stuff. Thanks to Jorge Rivera, today's patron producer, for sending us out and wandering around. Appreciate you. Appreciate all my patrons. Of course, if you'd love to become a patron and support the channel, what I do, going out, sharing, exploring the city, all kinds of other stuff that goes with that. Appreciate that. And also, if you're looking for a guide, links below to my guide to the city. And uh, yeah, with that, we, that is La Villette, the Idiot 8, round two, video two, under the belt. Anything else? Come to the canal, it's lovely. <laughs> it is lovely. Yeah, and if you're gonna come to this quarter in particular, just stick to the canal. It's probably the best, most interesting part. Uh, and there's a lot here, I love this area. So, anywho, see you uh, bright and early one of these times sometime soon for another wander through another quarter in the delightful city of Paris. Bonus for those of you who made it to the very end. We found a, a very impressive beer cave. Name below, beer cave. I always say cave now, it's a cellar, beer cellar.